morning 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 and welcome back to another one of my videos so guys today is gonna be a great day yes yes don't mind my my nighty says sleeping beauty mm -hmm. all these things no today guys today is gonna be a good day because um today i'm gonna cook stew beef and broad beans again but this time i'm going to do um rice and peas with it not food so i have my coconut here yeah i'm gonna um, cut up the coconut blend it and all these things um i'm gonna do a separate video guys for that but the main focus of this video is my hair day guys my hair won't do mm -hmm. Hair grows and all these things as i said in my first video i'm mixed so my granddad on my mom's side he's from india right and uh, my dad's yeah so my dad's side um my dad's parents they're from jamaica and such um so yeah i'm mixed hence the word mixed okay so my dad's side tend to come out strong come out a lot yes so um, my mom actually she relaxed my hair from when I was in fourth grade preparatory school. Yeah, so um, I maintain it since then. She, thank you, mommy. She did a great job in maintaining my hair. Child, I'm telling you that <laughs> my hair used to be extremely thick, like natural, like big, like thick, and I couldn't manage it. So I big up mommy for managing my hair all these years. Yes, and know that it relaxed. No, is manageable. So I need to relax it. No. So today is my hair day guys so y'all gonna get to see um how i actually care for my hair the relaxing process and all of that guys so i'm very excited to show you guys that yeah guys so today i'm going to run a few errands and then come back season up the beef let it marinate and then go do my hair relax my hair and then come back and cook the stew beef with broad beans and rice and peas guys so stay tuned it's gonna be a fun video i'm not gonna show you guys the whole stew beef thing again because i already did, did that it's in my second video yeah so um i'm going to make a separate video as it relates to the rice and peas thing and i'm gonna do it with fricassee chicken so y'all can see how i actually blend up the um the coconuts and do all that fun stuff okay so I hope you guys enjoy this video about my nail day, okay? So enjoy guys and have a blessed day. Hey guys, so um, I'm about to go to run some errands. Um, I didn't even get a chance to put in my earrings, my two earrings. <laughs> and uh, my makeup, uh, yeah, so I was rushing. Um, I have someone to meet and such. And then when I come back, I'm going to cut up the meat and season it as well as um let, let it marinate and then probably put on a few little makeup and whatever then go to my salon yeah because my hair really won't do i put it in one just put it in a bun or so i don't know if you guys can see <laughs> just put it in just fix up some yeah <laughs> so stay tuned guys for the hair day okay so hey guys so i finished running my errands for the day um i need to go home now and cut up my beef and season it and uh, so i can marinate it and then go to the salon and get this hair done guys so next phase of my day is going home and deal with the beef the beef and then go to the salon so stay tuned so hey guys, I am back home now. Um, I'm just going to um, cut up my beef as I said. And then, yeah, my beef, like over here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it up in small pieces and then season it. I already showed you guys how to do that in my uh, my second video. So um, you guys can look back at that. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, so I'm already now to go to the salon. Um, remember I told you guys that I might wear a little bit of makeup to go to the salon, but um, no, I decided not to. Um, I don't like makeup. <laughs> and growing up, I used to really think that it clogs your pores and such. So I'm going as natural as it comes. Um, yeah, 
no eyeliner, no eyeshadow, nothing, no foundation, nothing. So I'm gonna go now, guys. So let's boogie. Okay, guys. So I'm here at my hairdresser. This is Vivian Molly. Hi, this hi is guys. Hi. My hairdresser. <laughs> so um, she always do my hair, guys. Um, um, it's been about what, four months. I'm gonna do my hair three. Yes. It's been a long time. A long it's time. <laughs> So I have to process the hair. <laughs> I have to process it now. <laughs> and I think you're going to clip it right. right. Then, yeah, I'm gonna keep, you know, so mm -hmm. You're going to clip it? The ends? Cape, cape. Oh, cape. Kind of tongue, I'm sorry. Cape. Yeah. Alright, guys. So, oh, it's boogie. Professional part of it. Okay, guys. So, at the end of the relaxing process, um, Vivian is going to clip my hair clip not cut <laughs> you're always clip guys so yeah yeah so the um the relaxer that i use is motions mm -hmm. relaxer for her type of yes, I used to use Affirm, right? Yes. So Affirm I used to use and then we change it to motion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um what do you think about the Caracare one? Uh Caracare mm -hmm. um, because your hair is so thick mm -hmm. and it holds so much moisture, moisture. in it. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I'm sectioning her hair right now. Also, I have to use a, a protector mm -hmm. on the hair to protect her hair from being damaged. Yes, yes, yes. And also, it's not good to scratch your scalp yes. before relaxing. you're relaxing. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, because it will irritate the scalp and that will cause burn. Yeah, and you usually use some things. So if you burn you, you use um. Yes, I use this thing that stings. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have the hair antiseptic that. If she gets a, like a slight burn mm -hmm. or on her scalp, I can use it here antiseptic to help. That's the word, yes. yes. Antiseptic. Yes. It's really good though because if you get a little burn or whatever and you put it on it, yes, it stings a little bit, yes. but then it Your protects good. the scalp, yeah. Yes. From, you know, the flake, yeah. Flake and mm -hmm. yep. getting any form. Okay, guys, so this is the basing process. Yes. Um, to protect your scalp yeah you part the hair and then you just put the base um, at, on the scalp around the lining of the hair first and then on the scalp okay. to protect the scalp from being burned right so you protect the scalp from being burned especially if you scratch it the day before or a couple of days before <laughs> um, you have to put it on the scalp to prevent burning yep. okay guys so this is the motions relaxer mm -hmm. that we use How you apply it, Viv? So you um normally for Elande, mm -hmm. I cannot do a, a slow application. I have to use my hand. Yep, she go pretty fast because yeah. she's easily irritated. Yeah, by so the I normally use my hands for her application. But on a normal basis, you could use the um the black thing. Yes, so I you have the, the brush. brush. The applicator brush. I show show the. On a normal basic, I would use the applicator brush, but like today, which she has takes so long to relax, <laughs> I have to use my hand because I yeah, it goes faster. It goes yeah. faster. And plus, my hair likes to suck up a lot of um thing okay. like everything. Yes. The relaxer. Yeah, yes. Once it goes in, it starts to melt down. Yeah. So okay, so she's using the comb, guys, to comb it through. Right now. Okay guys, so the application process is finished. So we're just gonna wait probably like five minutes and then because my my hair process really quick. So we're gonna wait like five minutes and then wash it out. So we're gonna use the neutralizer, but first they're gonna put the um the antiseptic on it and then use the neutralizer. Okay guys, so while I'm waiting for the processing um to finish um, I'm going to talk to you guys about the products that I use so I use um, design essential as well as 
motions so for the moisturizer i like the um guys the bag just try to yeah um i use mo um the design essential moisturizer and when i go home well i think i have it here um it's good for um scalp that is dry as well as if you have you know dandruff which is dry scalp and the flakes or whatever it's good for that it has a minty sensation and it's really good and it grows their hair as well um i don't use any gel in my hair that tends to break your hair um and hmm? and the alcohol one oh nothing with alcohol right alcohol free stuff guys so okay guys i'm at the um the washing station no so i'm washing out the relaxer and baby i'm gonna tell you guys what to do when you add this step so okay for me um i always make sure that all the relaxer is removed from the hair because before i apply the neutralizing shampoo mm -hmm. which is motions neutralizing shampoo yeah yes so i always make sure that all the relaxer is removed from her hair and mm -hmm. if she gets any form of irritation i would use a therapeutic antiseptic yeah which is hair and scalp which is this one skin yeah yes. the design essential yes. the antiseptic Okay guys, I just finished applying her antiseptic on the areas that is irritated. It's not all over the hair. We just put it on the areas that is irritated. And after three minutes of shampoo, mm -hmm. I'm gonna rinse and then take her into the shampoo. Yep. So now you can just show me the shampoo your hair. Alrighty, so we're gonna shampoo her hair, but my hair no, guys. Well now I'm into the shampoo process the neutralizing shampoo i always give elan the uh, three shampoo because her hair is like this whatever you put on it it absorbs it so, so true. i normally use give her three sets of shampoo yes make sure that everything comes out so, yes okay guys so um vivian just applied some mousse the motions mousse on my hair we finished with the washing process and now we're on to the Trimming is it the cut? Yeah, trimming and then yeah, that's the second motion. Into the trimming, mm -hmm. just to get her hair a little bit more. Yeah, silky. Yes. And I know I'm normally trimming here wet. Okay, yeah, she trimming wet. So I'm gonna show you guys some parts of the trimming process. Okay guys, I'm going to the trimming process. I normally trim my client's hair every, every relax, every six weeks. I give you a trim mm -hmm. and today I'm going to give her a trim. I'm going to take off, uh, I'm going to take off an inch of her hair and I know she's curling up in her mind right now. <laughs> yes, just an inch. Just an inch. Just an inch and I know she's curling up in her mind. <laughs> Yes, and I always also when I'm trimming the hair, I, I always try to give her just a small amount of layers to give her that bones. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, guys. So um, this is the clipping process. Um, yep. <laughs> I usually do like to cut my hair. Cutting is different from clipping, guys. So I usually allow her to clip, not. And she knows how to do it, so um, I trust her to do my hair to clip it to put scissors in there um also um after we finish this um she's going to um put it in rollers guys i used to mommy would let me sleep in rollers growing up um and dad she always say it made the hair look bouncy and such and it's true the hair get bouncy um but no um i'm used to it now i'm used to going under the dryer you know for one hour um i just read a book or something and listen to music or you know so um, i'm gonna do that today and then wrap it okay. so we're trimming still mm -hmm. yeah but you don't mind but trust vivian we're trimming my hair <laughs> she's been doing it for years now so <laughs> i trust her judgment so she's gonna take off one inch Very nice. I like when it's 
straight and then you know it's even when you comb it down it's really even and nice so i'm gonna give her some layers here guys layers oh. can hold our face Okay guys, so we're on to the setter's part. We're gonna use the roller setter. The roller setter. Um, yeah, so my mom, as I said, she usually let me sleep in rollers when I was younger. Um, she like when it's bouncy in the morning to go to school. So I'm used to the rollers and being under the dryer. Um, I know lots of people they really don't like the dryer because it's hot yes they so they like to just blow dry the hair and that's it because but the blow dry kind of damage your hair guys mm -hmm. too much too much blow dryer damage your hair it's about the moisture when you go under the dryer is better because it keeps the moisture in the sheen okay okay guys so this is the dryer part where i'm gonna dry my hair for what 45 minutes Vivian? 45 to one hour but usually when you relax the hair is 45 minutes guys so this is the part that um most people don't like the heat me for one you know from when i was uh when i was smaller my mom used to let me go under the dryer and be like no my beer is beer is this who does right um i know if you ask her like she doesn't go under the dryer mommy love blow her hair but me be gonna dry but I'm used to it now. So as I said, um, I would normally just read a book, listen to music, and just ride out the 45 minutes or the one hour. Okay guys, so while I'm under the dryer, I'm going to explain some things to y'all. So every month, I usually get my um, treatment, right? My hair treatment. So we use the Design Essential. This is the conditioner. Um, this is a Milk and Honey 16 one right? So it's a reconstructive conditioner and she also used the shampoo as well, right? This is very good, a very good con um, treatment guys, very, 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 very good. So I use this one for treatment. When I'm washing my hair on a regular, um, I will use the Motion shampoo and conditioner. So this is the Motion, Motion shampoo and this is the conditioner guys the conditioner so i really like motions decrease with my hair it makes it be all moisturized and such okay for me as a hairdresser mm -hmm. my number one priority is to make sure that my clients they have healthy bouncy hair and don't, a lot of people today they don't they, they, they're into a lot of extension but beyond the extension, you should have healthy hair. So that is my number one priority for my client to have healthy hair. Okay, so finish with the dryer. Just taking out the rollers. And expose the curls. <laughs> hey man, guys, I told y'all my hair just need to do and so forth. It was going for too long, no. under the dryer guys you get this nice bouncy look unlike when you use a blow dryer to dry your hair it will suck out the moisture oh it's your hair <laughs> Achoo. Achoo. look there look my bouncy hair look at yes yes hunty We're gonna we're gonna wrap the hair now guys so you oil it the oil the scalp oh they've got a magazine oh the other one yeah i want to show them 
nice design essential to have one as well but this one i have is the minty one the one for um like if you have any dry scalp or such like that it helps guys yeah so this is the uh, design essential um therapeutics anti-itch hair and the scalp treatments guys Yes, it's very good. So you go on the, the scalp under here. Okay, guys, so um, Vivian just oiled the scalp only and then she's going to wrap it. brush it out like that <laughs> okay guys this is the wrapping process of the hair I'm gonna wrap oh. her put her under the dryer yep when she comes over but normally when I wrap her hair I place her under cool dry with a plastic cap on her hair mm -hmm. just to give her that bounce yeah, and it also helps to get rid of the roll marks. Yep, yeah, the roll marks can be a problem sometimes, you know. Because when you just take out the rollers and you have that mark at the front, yeah, not cute. So. Look at that wrap, guys. Looks really nice and smooth. Okay, guys, so she's just wrapping it now. So, this is the what, babe? Silk, silk paper, paper. So this will keep the moisture in. Oh, you also have a black one and the the different the different colors, yes. like the whites and the. Gonna put what I one more. I look like I'm gonna get baptized now. <laughs> okay, guys, that was a joke. All right, so I'm going under the dryer you now. Well, the cap first, right? The plastic cap. So we're going to put on the cap, guys. That's the cap. Give her a lot of bones in the hair. Mm-hmm. And I'll be placing her under cool dry. Okay, let's go. So cool dry. All right. That's just 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. Wrap removal, guys. Yes. 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 Shiny. Bonsai. Bonsai. 
don't see with a lot of motion here. Wow. And healthy. And healthy, strong hair. Yep. Wow. I love it. Thank you so very much, babe. As usual. You're most welcome, darling. Okay, guys. So um, this is my typical hair day with my hair salon, and I have to give a lot of thanks to Vivian. Yes, she always lay my hair. Um, you guys can follow her on Instagram and Facebook. Um, the names are below here. So please follow her, guys. Um, she does a great job. She also does wedding hairstyles as well. Right, babe? Yes. Wedding <laughs> and all these things. So follow her, guys. Okay, hi, guys. So I am back at my home. And... um. I had so much fun at Vivian today at my salon, my hair salon. And I just told her to wrap it because usually when I'm going to bed, I like to wrap it with something silky and such. And then I put, um, I have about two of the head wrap, the tie, well, Jamaicans call it head tie. <laughs> so the head wrap with a tie around my head and so forth and then sleep with it. It's silky as well. So I have a, like a Chanel one and some other one. All right, guys. So, I'm going to explain my hair routine, okay? Because a lot of people have been asking me how I, um, I care for for relaxed hair. And that it's difficult to care for it. And to be honest, I don't find it difficult. Um, I just listen to my hairdresser. Um, and she's really good. I listen to my hairdresser and I just, you know, follow what she says. And what works for my hair, right? Yeah, so I was saying um, I just follow my hairdresser's instructions and I go with what works for my hair because not everything works for my hair and not everything that would work for my hair could work for your hair. You understand? So you should just know um, the products that really work for your hair. All right. Um, my mom relaxed my hair when I was in preparatory school, as I said before, and that was fourth grade. Um, from then... Um, I just started to care for my hair. Um, she used to care for my hair and then um, she used, we used to use Just For Me products. And then we used pink lotion. Mm -hmm. So anybody who knows pink lotion, yeah? Mama used to drone your pink lotion. <laughs> just to have it under control, you know? That's when it was natural. All right, so, um, so that's. And then, you know, growing up, going to high school and such, um, when it was relaxed, um, mom used to tell me to go under the dryer. Yeah, so whenever I go to the salon, um, I remember when I was growing up, um, I used to go to Point Village um, Salon in the grill, go to Grand Lido Salon as well as Hedonism Salon um, when I was older. And uh, yeah, I used to go to those salons, right? And um, yeah, so I just work with whatever works for my hair. Usually when they wash my hair, um, mom used to, you know, let them know that to put me under the dryer. So I remember Miss Dell. Oh my God, I love Miss Dell so much. Um, she used to put me under the dryer, right? And I remember saying that it was hot. I was like, mommy, this hot man, it's hot bad. And so forth. But mommy said, no man, it's, it's all right. Just stay under the air a couple more minutes and it will be cool. <laughs> and such. So I grew up um, just going under the dryer, you know, so I got used to it over some time so every time go under the dryer it's fine i'll just ride it out yeah so i would just ride it out so i know that it will be over soon so what i do is that <laughs> when i'm under the dryer i would just study yeah i'm in sciences so in high school I just bring my biology book or my chemistry book and just start study just study under the dryer yeah and ride it out and if it get too hot this is what i normally do guys don't have i normally just block the heat like this from my nose and my mouth so i block it like this so the heat does bounce off the top of my hand yeah i have to find little strategies you know <laughs> but yeah so i used to do that so the products i use guys so um uh, when i was going to grand lady and stuff i used to use i think it was trinesome yeah and that's a good product um and then i used to use um the the relaxer as Vivian said earlier, it used to be Affirm. Affirm used to really work for my hair. But after a while, I realized, yes, I was saying that the Affirm started to burn me more than usual. So we decided to change the relaxer to motions. And I'm telling you, child. 
motions is god sent i love motions motions make my hair you know feel all silky moisturized and yes yeah trust me it's good so anyways um i'm gonna show you guys some of the products that i use and um when i'm in kingston at ue i tend to do my hair myself you know i had to look for a hairdresser in kingston and i found one now but i used to do my hair myself so i have all the equipment to do my hair myself yeah so i'm gonna show you guys now Alrighty, so okay guys so here it goes um these are all my products i laid them out on the top of this lovely iron board for you guys to see so first up the trend the tresemme the tresemme i use that one is the um the luxurious moisture for dry or damaged hair to the shampoo and the conditioner so i usually when i buy my um my hair products the shampoo and conditioners i normally go for the ones that has a lot of moisture in it right because i love when my hair feels as if I actually moisturized it right after washing it so i love that um i love design essential also i bought this one um, i think it was in kingston um this one is honey cream so it's moisture retention um super detangling conditioning shampoo so i love this one it smells really good right new and improved and such um it is an all-in-one shampoo so it's a shampoo and a conditioner guys so this is really quick and easy you know if you really want to hurry up and do your hair wash your hair so you can go study and so forth you just use one shot one go that one this one though is the motions um shampoo and conditioner i love this one it has active moisture right active moisture lavish shampoo active moisture plus conditioner so this is the conditioner guys and as you can see um it has shea butter right coconut oil right with silk proteins and the one i showed you earlier um at Vivian's shop it has argan oil as well um this one is with the the shampoo is with shea butter coconut oil and olive oils i really love olive oils guys i really love it um before i use these products right i used to use olive oil right the moisturizer so i used to use olive oil moisturizer this one and this is the mousse the wrap and set mousse right so i used to use that i still have it Alrighty. so what i use now for mousse is really this one the argan oil from morocco right it's really good argan oil is very good for your hair extremely good for your hair right um i have another one the cream of nature i love the cream of nature brand guys i really love the cream of nature brand so um i have another one but i left that at babes also <laughs> i'll take a picture of it guys and show you um in the slides to come i'll show you guys that one all righty so i don't really blow my hair out right but if i'm tired of the hair dryer and one day i want to blow it out it's probably like once every five months i blow my hair i really don't blow my hair that often but if i do i use these um products so i have two heat protector i bought this in sally's overseas and i think the same in sally's too yeah but i bought this one recently but it's a long a long time ago i love this one because it has aloe right aloe um and natural oils and such it smells really good okay guys so as it relates to moisturizer i used to use carrot hair so Caro Care is really good for your hair. Sometimes I still use it. This is the oil moisturizer with jaboba oil. Guys, I love jaboba oil. I love jaboba oil. Right? Um, I have argan oil here. And in the same bottle, um, I have a jaboba one. But I really can't find it right now. I'm sorry about that. But yes, I have both the argan oil and the jaboba oil. They're both good for your hair, guys so those people who are in the grill about these products but this product and the jaboba one in karen all right store so you guys can get that there she have a lot of oils there for your hair so what i do before i wrap my hair i just oil the um the scalp right and just massage it in just massage it in guys and then i wrap it all right so that's the jaboba and the argan oil so now this is the the character so i use this right as well as this one i used to use this one so this is a buttercream 
the buttercream um, oil. Yes guys, so I was saying that um, I used to use this Care Care moisturizer, it's called buttercream, Care Care buttercream, and it has shea butter, cocoa butter, right, which is very good for your hair guys, very good, so it's, it's a very good product, so I would recommend this, to be honest. Alright, but what I use currently now, <laughs> I use Design Essential moisturizer, yes, they're the same thing, but I bought it. I really love it. So this one, guys, is minty on the hair, very minty. It is nice, minty. When you put it on your scalp, you feel as if oh, somebody's massaging the scalp, guys. Yes, it's very minty and nice. Um, so it's also a treatment, a scalp treatment. So it's anti-itch hair plus scalp treatment, and it's there for um dandruff hair grooming as well. So anybody who have this itchy scalp and all that, and as you can see in the fine print, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, for relaxed and natural hair. Let me get the focus right. For relaxed and natural hair. So guys, those who have natural hair, y'all can actually use this as well. You know, it's a very good product. I love it. I would recommend this to you guys. Yes, the design essential therapeutics and each hair plus scalp treatment. It's a hair and a scalp treatment, guys. You put it on your hair. Oh my gosh, it's like oh, awesome. So yeah, so these are the moisturizers I use. So I remember when I was on my um, gynecology rotation in Mandeville, um, when I went there, the place was so cold and such, um, I would usually use the jaboba oil and this oil my scalp, apart my hair in like small, small, small parts and then oil the scalp. And this is the, applica the applicator, guys, I can use to actually line it on your scalp. So you just um, twist it and twist it back. Yeah. So they want to use. And um, when, you know, things are kind of low and whatever, I do my hair myself. Yeah. I have all the products to do my hair myself. And as I said, I'm going to show you guys the one that um, I use now. The, the, what do call this though? Yeah, this is the leave-in conditioner that you use to damp your hair with. So when your hair is already shampooed and everything is wet you just spray it on your hair and you style it so what i always do is when i spray it on my hair i put some rollers in my hair and it holds it and such and then i go to the dryer and guys i have my own dryer here yes yes ellie have her own dryer yes so this is a cordier pro style dryer is very nice um i use this i bring this with me when i go back to you when i go to university yeah so let me pull it for you guys so you open it like this yep yep and then you plug it into the wall right so you put it on high um low and whatever so yeah so that is my hair dryer so as i said i do my hair myself when you know i want to do my hair myself and when i don't feel like it i go to the um the hair dresser okay so yes guys and then when i wrap my hair i always wrap my hair let me tell you guys about that okay guys so i'm going to tell you about the wrapping thing whenever i um i shampoo my hair and such like i did today i usually wrap it put something silky around it put my headband and go sleep right um if i don't have this um band i use this one all right I use this one and um, I wrap my hair and then put it around it and then put some pins to hold it right and then put my silky Chanel wrap around it and tie it and go to my bed okay this helps to hold the moisture in your hair guys right it helps a lot and it also helps to keep your hair smooth and silky and bouncy okay trust me it does I do this every single day <laughs> right so when i get home i wrap my hair busy day get home wrap my hair okay and the most important thing when i wash my hair guys i go under the dryer of the dryer okay let me show you guys the dryer the dryer the dryer okay listen i don't i don't mess around with blow hair blow i don't do that i do it once in a blue moon like once every probably six months I don't mess around with it. 
it dries the hair and it starts to break your ends right not good for your hair the dryer guys keep the moisture in your hair keep the moisture like let it be you know silky yes and have your, your hair having a body and all, all these things you understand so yeah those are my tips for hair and the treating or caring for your relaxed hair yeah guys okay dokie guys so i just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos and this video was about my hair day and my you know typical hair routine okay guys so i really do appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching this video so i would really love for you guys to comment 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 guys below and also if you're new and you haven't subscribed please subscribe guys to my channel click that red button below that says subscribe please like this video as well as share this video with your friends and family members guys and tell them to do the same like share comments and also turn on notifications most importantly subscribe though right um the notifications is for like if in the event i post another video y'all will be the first to know thank you so much for tuning in